Assalamualaikum. In this session, we will learn about the optimization of HPLC analysis. To optimize the HPLC condition, we need to understand the factors that affect the HPLC analysis, such as flow rate of mobile phase, type of column, and type of detector. Now we go one by one, which is the first one is flow rate of mobile phase. As the flow rate increase, what happens to the retention time? Retention time will be decreased. If the flow rate is too high, some of the compounds may elute at the same time. It means they overlap each other because the flow rate is too fast. This led the pore separation uh, efficiency and the flow rate must be adjusted and optimized to effect good separation of the solid and samples. That's the effect of flow rate and the effect of the type of column. Polarity of stationary phase must match with the analyte. As we know, the HPLC have two systems, which is a normal phase and reverse phase. So we have to choose the correct polarity of stationary phase. So this would be effect a greater interaction between the analyte and the column leading to the good separation. The selection of a specific column depends on whether or not the plant separation is possible or logical with a given mechanism. We have to know the nature of our uh, samples for uh, analyte which is polar or non-polar. If our sample uh, analyte in the samples is a polar, so we need to tend to choose a, a reverse phase. We cannot choose the normal phase, otherwise it cannot be separated. That's how the type of column affect the optimization uh, method in the separation HPLC. Next is uh, again the type of uh, column which is the rather than uh, stationary phase uh, uh, type and next will be the particle size. Prefer a smaller particle size. Like uh, previous slide we know that the, we should choose the high num higher number plates there it will be produced a narrow plate and high pressure required to move the eluent through the columns if particle size too small so manufacturer had determined that the best size is uh, 5 micron particles uh, with uh, 5 millimeter of the uh, 550,000 uh, plates per meter uh, for the 5 micron and 25,000 plates per meter if packed with time micron. This one manufacturer had already identified the particle size that's suitable for the analytical column. And rather than the size, particle shape also important and commonly the spherical particles require less pressure for a given inward velocity. So this is the effect of the column. When the column length increase, what happens to retention time will be also increase. When the column internal diameter increase, what happens to retention time also increase. When the column particle size increase, the retention time will be decrease. The two next is the mobile phase. Uh, mobile phase uh, we have to set whether we want to run in the isocratic illusion or gradient illusion. What is the terms of isocratic and gradient is the most important in the uh, determine our method and what is isocratic illusion? We constant the composition of the uh, solvent throughout the running of the samples and gradient is composition of the solvent change over the time and this is the isocratic so illusion I gave you example a single mobile phase composition is used let's say for example I use mobile phase of water and methanol with a range of 80 20 80 water and 20 the whole of the running time let's say 30 minutes I use the same composition of the uh, composition of the mobile phase that means isocratic constant throughout the running time and for the gradient means I change the composition at uh, 0 minutes to 10 minutes I use 80 water and 20 methanol and at 20 minutes I increase the percentage of water uh, decrease the percentage of water 60 to 40 40 now become for the methanol until the end I increase the methanol and decrease the water the 
Corroded nutrition means composition keep on changing during the time of the separation. Normally mixing of two solvent, as I give you example just now, water and uh, methanol, and continually changing the proportion. Gradual elution, the advantage, they allow early eluting peaks to be adequately separated without the later eluting peak become too dispersed. So means uh, the separation become more uh, efficient and we can see for the example, the elution of gradient elution, the peaks well separated compared to the isocratic elution for the same sample. This one is constant throughout the running time. This one is changing the portion composition throughout the running time. So, common problem after optimize uh, the condition, we have to know the common problems in the HPLC analysis. Uh, we we have the, to face the noisy baseline. Why is the uh, possible cause of the noisy baseline, the T flow cell detector lamp failing, a bubble passing through detector, temperature effects on the detector that causes the noisy baseline. And the next one is the drifting baseline. We have should have to know that drifting is causes by the gradient illusion, the temperature unstable, contamination in mobile phase, and contamination in the system. Drifting means the baseline is not straight, it goes up. And the ghost peak, which is the peak even appear when no sample is injected. Possible cause is dirty mobile phase. And the next uh, troubleshoot we need to do is unusual high pressure. And possible cause, a pocket trap in the column, pump malfunction or clock column will cause the high pressure. And another thing that we can see is fronting peak. Uh, the peak uh, 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 have a shoulder. It is a not a straight peak or straight line. So possible cause is a column overload and negative peak. The peak is goes down. So possible for the cause absorbance of sample is less than mobile phase. And that's all for the uh, troubleshooting uh, problem phase through running the uh, samples and application of HPLC normally we use for chemistry and biochemistry research, quality control, environment control, federal and state regulatory agencies and pharmaceutical industry. That's all. Thank you.